Hello, Brad ID one here in today's video. Um, we are going to talk about a gaming topic today of um, a game. It's a fighting game, um, and this game we're going to talk about is um, is um, okay. DNF Duel, which is a anime like fighting game, but it has kind of like a Street Fighter concept or one of those, like, Marvel vs. Capcom, like, fighting games. So it's kind of like a Street Fighter-esque, like, concept. Because it is fast-paced, like, fighter game. Um, but it's an anime, like, type concept fighting game. And, um, um, I've heard some pretty cool things about this game. This game is actually pretty cool. Um, there's basically a, a character roster of, like, 16 characters. I'm sure they'll add more uh, later on because it is kind of a newer game. And two, um, um, there is concept, there is like abilities. That, there's some things that they can add to the story. I'm sure later. But anyway, um, the publisher that made this game is Nexon, which is uh, I guess the studio, I guess the gaming studio that made this game. Um, the DNF Duel which is the abbreviation for it the meaning that what it, the meaning of it is did not finish did not finish duel which is what that uh that actually stands for which is kind of interesting so basically what this game is about is each character embark embarking their own journey so it's basically it's basically all these characters you know each one of them has their own journey, their own rules, their own their own story, and and everything. So, um, I think the game, I think the game end, ends up uh, the gameplay of it looks really good. Um, I've actually kind of wa I don't have the game, but I've kind of watched some deals about it and everything and stuff. Um, and I've heard this game is also online based too, so it's offline and off online based. So there's a lot of online tournament deal going on with this game right now um <clears throat> the way i look at this game though this game almost looks like it could be like you know like a really good anime series like a really good anime show maybe later on because i did because they did they did a game called uh scarlet nexus and they turned and that what they ended up having that one as an anime show i would be kind of cool if they had this character and stuff and one of the characters on the on this game that i like is uh there's a couple characters but uh, one of the ones I like on this one is uh, on this game. On this game, his name is he's called his name is Gunner, and he's basically this two gun like character and stuff. He's actually kind of it kind of reminds me of a similarity of Dante from Devil May Cry to um, um, Alucard from Helsing Ultimate. He kind of reminds me of, I mean, he kind of, ha he, has, he kind of reminds me of, of a similarity, like, but, I don't know, I think, I want to say more towards the Dante character, and it said the Alucard, because, uh, Alucard, with his dual, had his dual pistols and stuff, but, um, but anyway, um, each character has their own unique, like, like skill and abilities and everything, um, so far from what I've heard from this game, it's actually not bad, um, Everything that I uh, uh, that I wrote down and kind of talked about and stuff, um, I was kind of watching a little bit of it on IG, IGN because they was doing a gaming review about it. Um, one of the things that I've caught on with it that they mentioned about that it's very um, it's very fast paced. So it's definitely like playing. It's it's definitely going to have a Street Fighter and. Um, Street Fighter or or like a Marvel vs. Street Fight or like a Marvel versus Capcom like speed fighting like type game. So it's very like and there's and there is, they say the combo system's pretty cool too. So like there's some really cool combo sets in there too. So um, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> but um yeah, I think this would be kind this kind of game would be kind of cool to add like to your anime like. You know, if you're if you're one of those ones that wants to collect a bunch of anime fighting games like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, uh, then the Demon Slayer game, and every and etc. 
I mean, if you want to add a game like DNF to your DNF duel to your, uh, you know, fighting game, uh, fighting games for your collection, uh, this is probably the game for you. Uh, and it's actually kind of cool. Um, but I think uh, this game, I think this is going to be probably probably a really cool game. Um, trying to think of what else to add in here. Um, I think, um, so it was published, it's published by Nick, Nexon Games, so, like, because the company that does a lot of, like, the other, like, some of these other, like, anime fighting games, like Dragon Ball Z and stuff is, and, or, or the Naruto one, I guess, those games are done by Reconnect 2 Games, or how, however that company got, is called, um, <clears throat> I think uh, I think we're gonna start seeing some like anime games coming here soon because I think we might actually see you know a pretty cool game for um, some some pretty cool anime games for like um, the Xbox and stuff because I I hear that a reconnect games is kind of a they're kind of a sign partnering, I think, with Xbox, so like Microsoft. So we'll, maybe we'll probably get ourselves some brand new uh, Xbox games in the future of like anime fighting games, but we'll see. I know that the PS4, uh, they had a lot of the anime fighting games on their system, and that's because I think uh, a lot of the a lot of the anime gaming studios that do those those games, I think a lot of those are ran through Sony, anyways. So. Kind of made sense. Same with like those Gundam fighting games. Most of those are all PlayStation. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think they need to do a lot of, um, do more exploring with other anime games and stuff. Like, I think they need to do probably another. I would like to see them do a Tokyo Ghoul game. Um, not the one that PlayStation 4 did. Cause I, Cause I heard a lot of people didn't like hear much that one. It wasn't the greatest, but I've, I like to see a fighting esque new uh, Tokyo Ghoul game with, um, for the Xbox and stuff. Um, I also do want to see, and I think they can do this. I, I also kind of want to see a brand new Attack on Titan game, even though we had those, you know, those the part, even though we had the the Attack on Titan Part One and Part Two games. Um. I kind of want to see them do another one that's kind of more of an open worldy like one, and kind of have maybe some small RPG elements to it, to where you know you, to where you upgrade your, your character to make him stronger and everything, and make your melee abilities uh, stronger as well, so that you can slay the titans and everything. Um, I like to see, and I I like to see a fairy tale game kind of get put in here. I know the PlayStation Four has one, but it's basically an RPG like game, so it's kind of treated similar to a Final Fantasy like treatment or a. Uh, there's another concept of that of it. Uh, yeah, it's treated kind of like a Final Fantasy deal with it. But it's actually, but they say it's actually not bad. Some people said anyways. Um, but I haven't really played it, so I don't really know for myself. Um, I think one anime game I do want to see actually get in development. And I think it would be really amazing. I want to see a Death Note game get made. Um... One of the reasons why I want to see a Death Note get made, there are some pretty cool ideas and stories you can do with this. Like, you can definitely do kind of like, you know, those, um, Tall Tale games. You can definitely do a story base with that, you know, where you have to choose your, your words wisely and all that type of concept and everything. I mean, you can. There are some elements I've seen people, you know, concepts they've done the Tall Tale series with stuff with, and it's kind of their own own story. But um, 
I don't know. Well, well, I just want to see how they do it. Um, I think I know one of the things I like to see them do is um, I think one of the things I like to see them do is um, kind of a stealthy light game, kind of a stealthy I don't want to say puzzle game, but more of kind of a role, more of kind of a, um, I want to say kind of a role play game, but I don't know if I, I don't know if I want, or I don't know if I want the, want it that way. Because, um, you know how like in L.A. Noir, where you can write on the on the write your you know when you're play, when you're playing like the investigation part where you're writing down stuff, you can definitely do a, a small little concept of that where it's the notebook, and you know write down like okay how do I want this person to die, and how long do I can I do this for you know obviously there there there'd be a lot of kicks so if I like to see a Death Note game actually get made and I think it'd be pretty cool to have Ryu by your side and. All this type of thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, I think it'd be very, very, very interesting, and I think I think it'd be pretty, a pretty amazing game. Um, what's another anime game that I think really should get in development? Obviously, I could see Juju Kaisen actually getting a fighting game at some point in time. Um. But uh, Juju Kaisen and Black Clover, I can definitely see you know getting their um, their cells fighting games. But I can see Black Clover kind of going into that um, RPG route, just like they did with uh, the Fairy Tale game on PS4. Um, do a similarity to that, I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, or another thing, I think you could treat. Um, the the Black Clover games. If you do a Black Clover game, I think you can you should do it kind of like you know those One Piece funny games that are called Pirate the Pirate Warrior games. You sh you could definitely do a similarity to that where you because you're where you're kind of running up to you know your enemies and stuff. And they've had games treated like that before. There was a couple of Gundam games that were treated like that way too. They were called uh, Gundam. Uh, Gundam Dynasty Warriors is what they was called. I remember playing that, and uh, those were those. And I had a couple of those, I think, for the 360. But like, you can definitely do kind of a different, similar to that with uh, the Black Clover's characters and stuff. Um, what do I want to see? Is a Shonen crossover anime fighting game done right not how jump force did theirs because uh one of the reasons why jump force was not the great was not a really good game yes it's an anime game and you know everybody went hype for it but the problem was there were so many issues with that game people were really upset with it like there was characters we didn't really get the fan service of that was not pleased and two they laughed on everything. They didn't even, like, focus on it. They just kind of, like, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to put this character in here, put that character in here, and then, yeah, and then here later on, we just get this, you know, like, deal where it's like, okay. Um, I don't think we're going to be putting any more characters anytime soon, so we're just going to, you know, go base off of these, and then if nobody likes them, then I guess just throw it off the shelf. And I think that's kind of what happened to that game anyways. So, um, I think it's going to be it for today's video, guys. I am going to do a second video of something else, so I'm doing a kind of a back-to-back -back video, back-to-back -back on, on YouTube videos, so I haven't done any of those for a while, so. Um, what do you guys think of, uh, DNF Duel, uh, anime, anime's new, uh, fighting game? Um, do you like it? Are you, um, into it and everything? And tell me what you, tell me what you like about it, what your favorite thing is about it. 
and let me know in the comment section below about some other anime fighting games you'd like to see get made and, and developed into, you know, fighting games, stuff like that. Uh, post the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as always. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.